So it's Wednesday morning and we're putting in boards, uh, just preparing these yards to collect the honey on Thursday, Friday. There's honey in these boxes, which is extremely positive. Uh, but I've noticed the honey flow has completely run out. I uh, put some boxes on these yards a week ago, uh, just added fourths just to try to catch any of the last flow if there was any coming in and those boxes were cleaned up but there's no nectar put into them. So the honey flow has run out. This yard here is beside a sunflower field and beside a mass of seed uh, alfalfa field and there's nothing coming off them just some pollen probably off the sunflower there's wildflower and clover in the ditches and such there's still pollen coming into these colonies but basically very little nectar uh, this yard is 10 miles east of my home yard and i think they got less rain than we did back home uh, and i think this area is just dried right out because back home around the honey house i have one two three three yards close enough to the honey house that they should be robbing if they were like they are in these boxes right now we've been here for about 35 minutes and they have found the equipment and I'd call this uh, we're going we're moving into that hot heavy robbing situation so it started Honey flow is pretty much done, unless we get a little bit more rain just to perk up the, the stragglers of the flowers. But basically it, we've got our crop locked in, they're in the boxes and now it's just a matter of stripping off the boxes and extracting it, but also we got to start shifting our mindset towards winter nest preparation, especially if the honey flows run out, we have to make sure these colonies don't starve out. Um, there is a bit of nectar coming in, so I'm not afraid of them starving out yet. I will build a tell on Thursday when we come and collect these boxes how much nectar is being stored in that fresh box we're putting down right now. And if that's dry, then we've got to get quick with the syrup, which is coming next week. But also we got to start thinking about bulking these colonies up, bulking their brood nest, fattening these winter bees up. We've got to start putting supplement down. And we'll probably start that this weekend. So it's a busy time ahead. More work ahead of us right now because of the, the robbing. This just adds another layer of work and unpleasantness. <clears throat> but something we'll get through and I'll show you what we're doing to help manage a robbing issue. So as we lift the boxes and we put the escapes in, we are actually removing these honey boxes from the actual function of the colony. So as the bees clear from the honey boxes down below to the brood nest, below the escape, they can't defend these honey boxes up top anymore. So we have to ensure that these bees can't get back in to rub this, this honey out, which we want to collect as our harvest. And what we need is bee tight equipment, which I don't have. So we either tape up the corners or we cover them with these cases. These cases actually takes us five minutes at the end of the yard to put on and they absolutely relieve any type of robbing issue to the top of the boxes here. They look kind of goofy, not that I really give a damn, but uh, they're very effective. Slip it over and I don't even have to think about these yards robbing their boxes out till I come back. Take them off to strip these boxes back onto the truck. So this is what I do to manage my robbing issue. We can come into this yard and within about 30, 35 minutes, we can have this yard stripped off and away before these bees actually find us as we take the honey away. So it's completely relieved us of the robbing situation, which we all hate, especially me, I hate robbing with a passion. So I do the extra steps like this uh, just to manage that issue and to avoid robbing completely. coming in yet. Different colors, all different colors. So um, we're just coming through. I'm just waiting for a truckload of boxes to come back because well, I miscounted and can't finish up the yard without enough boxes. So I sent a truck back to grab some more boxes. And in the meantime, 
I'm just going to poke into the top box here. I put a fourth on some of these hives to see if there's if I could catch that nectar flow coming in. I just want to see if there was any nectar flowing and if I had been able to catch any. This top box is definitely full of bees. And it's full of nectar. So we're pulling it off today. I don't know if you can see that. But we're pulling this off today. It's going to be wet, but this is all going to mix into this really dry stuff below. So it looks like all the effort we put into putting this extra box on is worth it. Because that's lifting heavy. I'd say about a third of this box is full. So, whether or not they would have just put it down here, I don't know. So at least I was able to catch it in the top box. So we are pulling off these honey supers today and we're putting one box back now. And from what it looks like from the robbing, we've kind of dried out. We missed all the rains. All the flowers are kind of shutting down, except for the clovers. They're still kicking out a bit. Sunflowers, just a little bit. So maybe we'll catch those drags. And But that bottom box, we will either... That box that we put back to replace, we will either collect the drags or we'll just simply use it just to house the mass of bees in there until we start our fall feeding program. And if we find that these hives are falling into um, starvation mode, then at least we have a box, we have space there that we would be able to feed syrup into that just to keep these hives going. Um, but then that completely removes that box from our production. So I don't think we're at that stage yet. We were at that stage last year where we are mass feeding right now. Uh, the honey flow ended August 1st and we were stripping off second pull with basically nothing in here and we were giving them just enough space to be able to feed back into them. But we're not there this year and we're still collecting the drags. So if we can, it'd be nice if we got a little bit of rain, but if we can just catch just a bit of the drags now coming in with the pollen and just a little bit of the nectar to keep these hives going. It'll promote an absolute fantastic winter nest. And this weekend we're going to come down to supplement. We're going to drop some patties down below the excluder and all the hives that we pull off second pull. And we are going to jolt this nest and we are going to build this absolutely fantastic winter nest and have it in prime shape by September.